Greetings everybody, this is Domingo with you today. Hope you're doing fantastic. And with partnership with DigiRT Software, we are going to be reviewing WinX Media Trans. Now this is just a product review and not an actual tutorial. So I'm just going to be going through what my opinions and thoughts are on this software. So if you have any questions about it, just leave me a comment below and I'll answer them the best as I can. So when you open up the software here, it shows your menu where it's photo transfer, music manager, I, Apple TV Video Manager, Encrypt File, Book, Voice and Ringtone, Flash Drive, and Remove DRM. So also before you keep watching this video, there is a gear on the bottom right of your screen that you can click on so that you can slow down the video to an acceptable speed if I talk too fast. On with the video. So we're going to go into first Photo Transfer and it has all of your folders of your photos so from camera roll to recently deleted all the way down to the folders that you have listed and it also shows screenshots as well and it categorizes them by year and date and it shows them in these three sections so there's like six here but then you can also select groupings like this so you can group them by month or by year that sort of thing so we're gonna go here and you can group them by day, month, and year. And then you can also change the look of it here. Like that. <coughs> Big icons, large icons. And then there's also one from Instagram here. And that just shows you the picture. And then what you can do is you can sync via iTunes. And then you can also go and to select this. You can go to export to HEIC to JPEG. The HEIC is the default format for the iPhone pictures. So we're just going to leave that right now. We're going to export the photos. It automatically exports to your folder in your computer. So you'll always have a copy, which is really nice. So you're just going to check that off. And then this has an eject button here where you can eject the iPhone through your USB port. And then it also shows how many gigs that you have free. 61 items that uses up 62 megabytes and then you can refresh the screen at any time and then you can delete photos as well and then you can add photos from your phone to your computer as well so we're gonna go back and then we're gonna go to music manager and it loads the music from your installed device here and it says here <laughs> DRM on the side here so that's probably one of the functions that we see where it allows you to remove the DRM so I think that way you can probably put this on your computer yeah because most of these have the DRM red sign there so I think that means you can't take it out of your phone so what there is is that it shows you to add new playlist and it shows all your music here that you've downloaded or purchased and then from here you can add music delete music so if you click on a song you can go to add music to add folder and then you can select a folder to add it on so I'm just gonna select a folder for example and then it'll save that song to the folder so it should have already saved it there and then you can refresh it at any time to see all your songs and then you can go back and then what we're gonna see next is the Apple TV video manager so I guess what this is is that this shows all of your videos that you've recorded on your iPhone here so it shows them on each list here as you can see so any video that you've made via an app or a direct recording will show up on here which is really cool and then what you do is you can sort them through by just clicking on one and then you export it to the folder and then it shows completed succeeded and then it shows the folder that you've exported it on right there so it's pretty cool if you want to export all your content on there and it has them in separate folders as well so the layouts are just the same for the photos and the videos so we're just going to go back now and then there's also what's called encrypt file so it says here please remember the password for encryption password is lost the encrypted file will not be decrypted this password is also used for importing exporting encryption so you can add files let's just say we're going to add a picture here from a camera roll we'll go open and then it says here encrypt now. So
so it says here encryption password setting I already know losing the password for encryption needs files unable to recover I accept the risk and would like to continue encryption so this is important if you want to keep your files or encrypt your files so you can set a path you can set options the options tell you to convert mp4 when the imported video is not compatible with iPhone then it also says here check now for new versions export photos convert music export photos by group and then it has the encrypt file option then you can enter a password here to verify data so we're not going to do that right now we're just going to close that right now and we're just going to clear the list so encryption meaning I think keeping it safe and then you can also go with decryption so there's file encryption and file decryption so we're just going to go back here and then book here I think it also shows the books that you have downloaded on your phone now I don't have any books downloaded here so I can't show you but it shows all of that so it's a really good manager for all of the stuff that you have in your iPhone and then voice and ringtone now it loads voice ringtones and voice memos here so you can add a ringtone that you have downloaded onto your computer let's say right here and then we're just gonna go here and then we're gonna go this and then open so we're going to make this into, you can make that into a ringtone. All right, everybody, welcome to the Domination Station. So it shows there the final cut. It's basically a ringtone maker where you can trim out sections of the ringtone where it's no longer than 40 seconds, and ringtones less than 25 seconds can be saved as a text tone or other alerts. So we're just going to go and press OK for that, and then it'll make it into a ringtone. And then what it will do is it'll allow you to sync it. And then it syncs with the phone and synchronizes the data. And then once that completes, it goes OK. And then it'll open up into a folder. And then there we go. So then we're going to go back and then flash drive. Now, this is a function where it allows your iPhone to be used as a flash drive. So you can add files to your iPhone, or you can add a new folder. So you can go add a file, and then we're gonna go select an audio file, for example. So it imports it, and then it goes okay. And then it's into your general storage. So that's really cool. And then you can go new folder, export, modify, delete, refresh, and then you can drag the file or folder there. And so you can use your iPhone as a flash drive. And then there's also remove DRM. So if you go to your music here, it allows you to remove the DRM lock. So that way you can use DRM unlocked files into your computer, so that way you have no problems with them. So if you go into your music, you can just click remove DRM and then it sets up the whole process for you. So that's just through iTunes directly. So all in all, this software does a really good job of managing photos, music, your videos, books, encrypted files, ringtones, flash drives, and also removing the DRM lock on audio or video files, which is kind of useful in a way because I think a lot of people are frustrated with the fact that sometimes iTunes doesn't allow you to do these functionalities and it just makes it really hard to get through. So with WinX Media Trans, it does a good job of allowing you to manage those files from here and go through and just sort everything out by itself which really makes it nice. And if you look into the video description below, there is a link that allows you to go into the software and download it. And there's also a giveaway where you can get it for free or you can also win it. And the link is in the description below. So if you have more information about that or if you have any questions about that, actually leave it in the comments below. Yeah, basically what's great about the software is you can back up, transfer, move around files without having to go through iTunes all the time. So this makes it really easy to manage stuff on your iPhone or iPad or any other devices that are supported on it. So thank you very much for watching this video. And if you have any questions, just leave me a comment below and I'll be more than happy to answer. Have a great day now.